Hey guys, what's up? And thanks for stopping by my channel, Crystal Michelle. And today I'm here to review for you guys this product that I used on my hair last night to deep condition my hair. Before I even get into that, if you have not seen this dope haircut on my head and how I went through that whole experience, please click the link right here. I am in love with this haircut. And right now what I am rocking is a flat twist out. Not a twist out, but a flat twist out. So I just wanted to make sure to see what I could do with this cut and there is so much I can do. So guys, stay tuned for a lot of tutorials on my channel. But I want to give you guys a product review of the deep condition I used last night. And that was the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Treatment Mask. And it has um, shea butter, peppermint oil, um, keratins in it, and also Jamaican black castor oil. So let's get right into it. Now this conditioner is supposed to be great for people who have natural hair, chemically processed, color treated, or even use a lot of heat on their hair. So if you fall in any of those categories, then this mask is for you. <laughs> Um, I pretty much fell into all those categories pretty much until after I cut my hair because most of the color ends are cut off and um, pretty much all the heat damage and the stringy ends, all that is cut off. But I do like that this is supposed to strengthen your hair and it's a really, really great intense deep conditioning moisturizing mask, which is what I was looking for. I'm protein sensitive. I don't know if there's... Protein, oh there is vegetable protein in here, but I didn't experience anything crazy. It really just felt like a really great moisturizing mask, which is what I really wanted. Um, I said deeply moisturized while conditioning the hair and the scalp. That's what the shea butter is for. There's Jamaican black castor oil that's supposed to promote healthy hair growth, and there's also supposed to be peppermint oil. I don't know if it's, well I did massage my scalp with the condition because I ain't got no hair over here. So I didn't feel no tingling on my head. So maybe you can add some few drops of peppermint oil. That's probably the only thing that I probably was disappointed about. And that's because I actually read afterwards. I was like, oh, there's peppermint oil in here. I didn't notice that. So that's probably the only downside. And the other negative would just be um, the smell. <laughs> it's super thick which I love, and now that I have short hair, I really used any. But um, as you guys can see, it's super thick, but it definitely melted right into my hair. And also, it really was great for like detangling. It left my hair crazy moisturized. The only thing is that it smells like Play-Doh. It doesn't smell like Jamaican black castor oil, pepper oil, shea butter, nothing like that. It smells straight up like childhood Play-Doh. But when I rinsed it out, my hair didn't smell like Play-Doh. Whatever leave-in conditioners or styling products I used on my hair afterwards, that's how my hair pretty much smelled. But would I be using this product again? Heck yes. Would I purchase this again? Yeah. Um, it was a good conditioner. I have no complaints. I think with my, um, what brand is that? Eden's Body Works conditioner, which I love. Um, it does the same exact thing and I like that for a really good like protein deconditioning treatment. But um, even though this is a smaller size, I still feel like I'm getting a lot in here and it definitely left my hair feeling so moisturized. My hair was shiny and bouncy. Of course, I did cut my hair so maybe the bounce and the volume is more attributed to that. But I will have to say this is a really great deep conditioner and I pretty much give it 4 out of 5. Only because the peppermint oil, I didn't feel a tingle. That was just, maybe it was just this batch, I don't know. And um, the smell. But if you're looking for a great, intense, moisturizing deep conditioner, this is the way to go. I'm definitely gonna hold off and save this deep conditioner because I do wanna color my hair. So I think following up with this after I color my hair will be a great idea. So guys, Please like this video and also if there is a product you guys want to see me review, let me know down below in the description box. I want to go out and buy like a million products now that I want to play in my hair. And I don't know where to start because there's so many new natural hair products on the market. So if there was a natural curly girl friendly product that you wanted to see a review on before you go out and spend your hard earned money on it, comment down below what hairline, what specific product, whatever you want to see and I'll go ahead and whichever one seems the most popular I'll review that in my next video or do a tutorial, it's up to you guys. But as always, happy healthy hair journey and I hope to see you guys in the next video.